from the main screen click the contributions button. This will open up your church contributions module. The church contributions board is used for collections of the current service and reviewing past services on collections only. To enter a service you must first select the service date. Next, select the service. And then the service session. This is what's called a service query in database terms. Everything going forward will be relative to the date service and session you have referred. The main object here is to build your weekly service report. Click the preview button. This is your weekly service report, it is a breakdown of all currencies that were taken up during a single service. How much was checks, how much was cash, or other media how much loose money were in the offerings basket, and finally how much money is were paid out to ministries such as a speaker or musician before the collection reaches the main accounting office. A preview of today's service is shown here. This workflow preview is tied to the service information you entered above. The workflow begins with envelopes checks and cash totals where people are expecting a year in report followed by the lump sum contributions where monies were entered into the basket without regards to year end reporting. Followed by how these currencies break down into denominations. In the center, there is a quick view report of past services. You can enter a past service by clicking on the service. Changing the year will change the list view. This is a previous service breakdown. Click the reports button to receive a full report on a previous service. Let's review the service in question. Now, this review the current service, remember that information going forward here is based on the service query that you've entered. We are reviewing the regular service for March 1st. All information here will appear on the members year end report for this particular service. Members information is brought forward from the membership module into the membership area. From here, simply enter in the offering type reference number, if there was a check, and currency type, everything else is defaulted into your central database. Let's do that again. If there is a problem with the totals, you can edit the service by clicking the edit button. Click edit, next to the transaction that was wrong. Here you can edit information but do not attempt to log information for the current service. You can also review and print current transactions. Once your envelopes and checks are recorded, you're ready to enter in the lump sum offerings. Click the lump sum cash button. Lump sum offering sometimes called loose monies or donations or money is made by groups such as the monies that are recorded from the main sanctuary or Sunday school or other group offerings.
you can print a single report on today's loose offerings. Or return to the main screen to check your weekly report. Click the cash pay out button. This information enter here is when cash is paid out to a speaker or musician or other minister before reaching the general accounting office. If you do not have cash that is paid out to ministers it is a good idea to come here anyway and place a zero in the amount column at the top this will ensure the module was registered. Otherwise, enter in the appropriate data. You can view a single report or go back and review your weekly service report entries. The cash counter is here to record money that is counted in the back office at the time of service, the idea here is that you can count the number of denominations quicker than you can know how much these denominations equal. It also provides for a bank deposit sheet reflecting the amounts brought forward. If you need to you can export to Excel and rename the report. As always we advise you to review the video tutorials before contacting technical support. You can also add notes for this particular service and the notes will appear at the bottom of your summary report. This concludes the tutorial on contributions.